it's like I just realized like people are unhappy with themselves and somewhere some way around that I lost myself and I felt that I had to fill this like perfection mold and like see the setup and it's my unusual I'm gonna have a chit chat a real serious chit chat I have my notes because I just want to talk about everything I recently started watching a youtuber by the name of Monet McMichael and I kept I keep looking at her looking at her looking at her I'm like she reminds me so much of myself like Am I just uh, um, imagining that? Like, I kept thinking, I kept thinking, and I've been binge watching her stuff for like two months now. Cause she has a lot of content. And I'm looking at my, somehow I stumble upon my old stuff. And I look at my vlog playlist, and I watch all of my nine videos, nine or eight videos. And I was like, filled with such a strong feeling of like nostalgia happiness sadness so much i was watching i was like oh like you guys know what i mean i was like oh i don't remember that like oh oh like you know i was like going through the feels and i don't want to say i lost myself but I was looking at the video and I was like, I remember that girl. And this ain't the girl that has been uploading like two lately. So I have my notes because I was like journaling last night. I don't want to talk about it because, and I don't want this video to be sad. I want it to be like um, motivation for you. All the videos that I saw, I was 20 years old at the time. And I'm 25 now. That's a lot of foundation. And I just saw myself and I was like, when I turned 20, that was like the hardest, and it still is, has been the hardest. Like, that's when everything began to get really hard for me. Um, and basically, I went through a major shift in my life. And without saying too much, because it is family matters. I don't know, like, I wasn't looking at the videos missing where I used to live, but I was looking at my videos. Hold on, because this cat always, she always trying to act up. Hold on. Okay. I, w I was looking at my videos, and, like, I see my pretty bed in the back, and I see how nice I had everything. Like, long story short, I was making what I had to work, even though everything around me felt so shitty and I don't want to cry in this video because I wasn't sad but I was like I was more confident I was more like my face I was more like have something I was more like I don't know like at the, like when I watched it and yesterday versus when I made those videos I was like I didn't feel the same as I did when I made it originally. Like, I was like, oh, am I saying too much? Can you tell I'm having a hard time? Can you, like, am I faking it for the camera? Like, what is it giving? And I really honestly showed my happy memories, and that's exactly how I remembered those times. And, you know, long story short, I did end up, I, I realized that things kind of went south when I came back from college because I used to be so open about it and I was like, wait, I'm vlogging my little homework and me going to school and I was like, I don't even remember doing that, like vlogging that stuff. It kind of like brought me back to like, it's okay, like it's you. And it like reminded me of who I was and 
what I'm capable of. And that's why I realized, like, when I see Monet, I, that's why I saw so much of myself in her. Because she would just pull that camera out. She just talks. And that's what I used to do. And some way, somehow, along the way, I let people in my ear. I let opinions, things like that, stray me away from the way I do things, who I am, what I love, if that makes sense. Um, but in those old videos, I was going through it. And I still am in a very different way. But this time, it's a more mature version of me because I now have the vocabulary to kind of paint a picture as to what happened without you know, exposing family business or life business too. Oh, do y'all hear that cat? Like, I'm trying to get her in the freaking room. She doesn't want to come in. It's very annoying. Give me a second. I was just like, recently I've noticed I get very overwhelmed when, <sighs> where, do I just, where do I even start really? Like, Let's, let's let's cover some bases first so um basically long story short family dynamics got bad and i had to remove myself from my situation that's the only way i felt like i could see myself having a future and i had literally only one option one means to get out of that and um you know, not, I don't really want my channel to be about my issues either. But I'm just trying to lay, paint a picture out for myself and for you. I basically had to remove myself. And with that came the opinions of others. And those with more pull. Um, made it harder for me to see other people. Basically, um, with what happened... You know, some th you know, it's just, I don't know if I'll be able to ever to talk about it one day, but let's just say mommy and daddy issues combined, you know, and, um, long story short, for when I made my move, and you can see my videos where I, like, jump to a whole new scenario, like a new scene, and I ain't a big YouTuber, so I didn't really, really like, you know, you don't really have to address it, but... I was like, for the next following two years, I was overcome with severe depression, severe anxiety, severe lack of self-confidence. So around the time I was also starting my first ever relationship, which I'm still in, is still flourishing and we do all the hard work to make it work too, which is amazing for me. And... Um, there was one video in particular that I'm watching where I'm like recapping my life and I was like why can't I go back to doing that you know and basically over these years where I just stopped vlogging because I really love doing it like it was really funny to me it was really fun I loved editing it like I looked back at my videos and I hung out with my siblings all the time and since they were young I had to like wear their faces out and I mean my, my family never told me to do that I just felt like I had to but now that they're older I'm like it's okay and um I have a video I don't know if it's up yet or not no I won't be I'm gonna try to edit this today and post this today but I have a video where with my sister and I show her face when we she showed me so much about how much she's grown and how much how like things are okay does that make sense and in that video i'm just like so young and i don't know it's weird it's like i look back to it and i'm like i would look at my older and be like i'm ugly like i'm big as hell and now i'm like way way i weigh way more shit way more than what i weighed before and I, like people were in my ear just like trying to bring me down and now that I'm an outsider 
and I hear how certain people that were in my ear, how they treat others, it's like, I just realize like people are unhappy with themselves. And somewhere, some way around that, I lost myself and I felt that I had to fill this like perfection mold and like this setup is really grinding my gears but I go back and I'm like I looked around and I was like all I really gotta do is put some cuter pillowcases like it's still gonna be like I have my desk in front of the bed it's still me I can still edit funny like you know I can still see my siblings I can still hang out with them and when I was with her in that car, it, like, reminded me of our old times. Oh, my God, I don't want to cry. It reminded me of just how comfortable I am with the people that love me for who I am. And how comfortable I am with the people that I love for who they are. And somewhere along the way, moves were made. And I basically, you know, without saying too much had to jump from one family to another not like not on some adoption shit like you know what I mean and I realized like it's been hard for me because in that displacement um, a lot of myself had to be changed and altered not because I was forced to, but just to fit in, like, in anything. Like, it's been four years, honestly. And, like, things are finally starting to get a little better. But they're still not good. And I want to leave it at that because I don't want it to be the highlight of my channel. I look at those old videos and I'm like I still feel the same like I had little anxiety about filming and stuff and I'm still like that like that's just me um but I realized like I made it work you know I'd wait till people are home and that I just, there's just certain things that I had back then I don't have anymore and not really like in a way of like I want to go back I'm more like you know what it's like to not have control of Pookie, get on the bed if you're gonna get on the bed. Cause you used to be scared of me. Cause sometimes she'll just jump on whatever. Anyways. Um, you know, just little things like, oh, I used to have a window right by my bed. So the lighting was good, so I didn't even need lighting. But now I'm like, girl, you got a whole lighting in front of you to just take advantage of that. Like, do you guys feel, does it make sense what I'm even saying right now? Some way, somewhere along the way, the sadness, it didn't become my personality, but it felt like, oh my God, like nothing will be better anymore. I experienced my best and that's just that. And I'm at the time of my life where money is very important to make move as an adult and nothing seems to give nothing seems to give and i specifically in that video i was kind of having the same dilemma now i was like something needs to give look you're gonna have to wait like something needs to give and i just felt like i even said it it was like watching my old self giving my future self advice it was creepy but i was like i know i'm capable and it's just a matter of time. And I look back and I'm like... I, I express gratitude every day. But not so much as I thought. Like, I own a business now. It's not where I want it to be, but I own a business. I live independently. And... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um... You know, along the way, I had to focus on finishing college, learning to be in my first relationship, learning to love myself. And I was changing. Like, as you can see, I've gained a lot of weight from the stress, like literally from the stress. And the fact that I figured out that I binge eat and that's half the battle because some people are so delusional. They're like, 
I don't have a, a problem, a disorder. No, I just like food. Like, no, no, no. Sit down and really think about it. How, ooh, I banged my toe just now on my way over. I, I, I've been battling a lot. And somewhere around, along the way, I lost myself where I've become so sad and I don't want to be sad like I don't without the camera swinging y'all see that after watching one of these videos like just five of them I was like fuck that I'm going back to what I used to do and I've made my video so far and I'm like oh Am I doing the right thing? Like, will people care? Like, am I, I don't, do I have that it factor that people really care about? And it's like, why not? We all are capable. Like, why, why not me? Why not you? You know, and it's like, I don't get it. Like, the limiting thoughts that I find myself with are like, I don't know where it comes from or what, but I know that it's not me. And graduated college, just wanna put a picture here for you. Cause I'm proud of myself. And I'm proud of myself, like I've accomplished so much, even at my lowest. And I have to just like learn to pick myself up and relax and just keep going. And I don't know, I was really good at vlogs. Like I was. I don't I'm not just tooting my own horn because I there have been videos of myself where I look back and I'm like, ew, like what the fuck am I doing? I'm cringing. But these ones I really genuinely was like, oh, I missed that. And I'm not saying that I'm gonna only do hair and life videos. I mean, yeah, life videos. And somewhere along the way I started to care about the numbers because you hear so much like Oh, I was just doing it for fun, and then it blew up. And it's like, some of us know what we want. And, yeah, we're doing it for fun, but it's it's different when you're 25, and you have to solidify a career. And I see that I still have this issue of, like, girl, you need to sit the hell down and edit. And I have an issue with that. And, you know, I'm in therapy, so that's great. That helps. But my issue has always been, like, okay, yeah, I got the content down, but it's the editing. And it's, like, that's just part of the job. Like, that's just part of it. Although it's still me, just a little more thick. Um, my brain has expanded. I have better vocabulary to express my feelings. I've had more life experiences. I've been let down by a lot of people I love. But something that's always been constant and consistent is telling myself I need to be there for myself, and I have been. But I looked at those videos and I was like, why can't I go back to that? Because posting, it just is such a nice feeling. Like, And not even like Instagram, Facebook, all those things. I don't feel nothing. When I post on here, I just like my heart just feels like yes like I'm doing something with a purpose and not many of my videos have I gotten rid of or anything like that I'm gonna wrap it up and just say I'm coming back and it's gonna be okay it's the same me I just have more anxiety more depression that I'm dealing with and I'm gonna be alright like I just have to plow through it keep it going and we're gonna figure it out so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next